Oh, we're Tim. Thank what do you, you. We're Tim. <laughs> we're back. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna go over some footage. We're gonna see how that, uh, see how the broadcast looks. Well, in less than a minute, we'll be going live to the newsroom. But before that, let's take a quick peek at tonight's scorching light. I'm waiting until I finish at my food order because your food beach, order went from like 40 minutes to 60 public, minutes, and I don't know why. And nice. So I'm just kind of looking at it. Your part of town. That's followed at 7:30 by. They saw who ordered it. As we show Alabama Thank Jones you, and the Last of the Nazis. Thank you very, very, very followed much. Followed by its controversial sequel, Thank you so much. Alabama Jones 2. Whoops! Looks like I missed a few. <laughs> <At 9 15, laughs> Dr. Whoops! Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be chatting with a six-year-old. Allison Blimey. At 11:30, before the weather and close down at just after midnight. But first, let's go over to Jeremy Donaldson what? First. for the national nightly news. I agree. News. Always, but first. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight: siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and sanctions <laughs> now entering their 10th week in a statement from team headquarters a short time ago I imagine he said tentative Julius this is a <laughs> Shit. can't put that on YouTube nope. unprovoked you, did. you did a bad job ever since these illegal sanctions were imposed we have gratefully relied upon trade and aid from our worldwide friends who like us refuse to recognize their legitimacy Susan isn't CEO anymore? She, yeah, I don't know. She's not. We got her. It's a, I think it's a brown man now. We call upon our international allies to condemn this blockade absolutely. And we warn aggressors... They're calling it a step we up. Now we can't say the N-word. No, it's not that brown. We can still say the N-word. Under the knife, sickly celebrity Johnny <laughs> leaves has reportedly opted for an experimental treatment... Oh, 37 minutes again. Shepherd ...at curing his fatal illness. His fatal beep. Tiffany Lamour, when public opinion 36. turned against him, it seems poor Johnny has had to resort to a more extreme surgical procedure. Leaked medical records revealed this file photo of Johnny's surgeon. Pictured here at the start of his career, Dr. Allen is known for his steady hand, excellent bedside manner, and a particularly overzealous scalp hand. In it to win it, <laughs> exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Every month, lucky winners from across the country... Will this be the last broadcast? I don't know, it seems like there's more to like, do, so I don't know. Our last broadcast ever? More than money you <laughs> Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if this lucky winner's delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to... <laughs> nice. Sales of condoms have plummeted this month as sales of responsibility soar. Since becoming widely available earlier this year, the male contraceptive has become available? commonplace in the lives of many heterosexual What couples. else is widely and, available? As a result, many are turning back to more traditional prophylactics. The global health watchdog has revealed that it's men who are increasingly saying to the love. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are they increasingly saying? Mm. Beep. Hmm. The cost of a captain. The trapped scientists are waiting by skewing the tank. Have today been told who will be leading the expedition to bring them home? The announcement of the newly appointed captain comes amid reports that a lack of public interest has hindered fundraising efforts. However, doctors Wong and Sforz Borg and are said to be remaining hopeful despite financial concerns. Waving her normal thingy, the team are calling the appointment of Captain Audrey Aerospace a real <laughs> But how will one of the most experienced and well-respected leaders in her field handle a journey with a budget lower than an account of <laughs> Life during wartime. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government as radical activist groups Cause chaos in Parliament Park. I like the idea Scuffles of a news broadcasting team that swears so much, but they still censor it. <laughs> yes. Advance have yet to comment. The reckless would uh would you consider a uh, radical B group like you said to be uh like I don't know BLM? No. Oh. I'm just asking. And what exactly? Do just trying to report the news here, folks. Do we decide what logo that is yet? All this. Alliance Atlantis? Could be Touchstone, I don't know. To new New Line Cinema? Canal? New box of matches. All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fat 
f***ing medical conditions. As well as one of the contenders in this year's feline f championship. And her proud owner. That's up on tonight's National Night. <laughs> and after that... <laughs> <laughs> This B-roll is so much fun. <laughs> the, this, the, I love this so much, the pushing. Hey, hey, asshole. <laughs> Best news team. Agree. <laughs> but first tonight, our team of correspondents has been dispatched every corner of the country <laughs> to see how the people this great nation of ours <laughs> are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea to see what this scientific community has to say. I'm Megan, part of the scientific community. How's the weather there? <laughs> it's absolutely. Can I do science on the beach? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm here with. Dr. Can I do Kat science Wolf on beaches? University of Princeford. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I am? Oh yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Eyelids are sweating. <laughs> Fucking eyelids are sweating. Going out to study into just what's causing this unbelievable heat. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yes, we want to be able to reassure the public once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Reassure the public. Got to reassure the public. Fossil fuels in peace. You sound. Those who managed to persuade some poor hapless can say without any hesitation, there is really no cause for any concern here. I I've actually left my car running. <laughs> So tell us about this experiment. Ah, well, we take data from weather stations from all over the world, along with atmospheric samples, and we take all that single workplace social event, state of the art <laughs> computer, and there's the horror of spending a read out of the results. <laughs> that sounds very fancy. <laughs> ah, I should just say, <laughs> none of this would be possible without the generous support of Rivington's Fist. This is all thanks to their unrivaled investment in our future. I just say complimentary personal anecdotes. Oh, here we go. And today, I mean, it's supposed to ah, as expected. Oh yeah, this is, is my break from editing is playing editing the game. You're right. <laughs> Hang on. This, this can't be right. Uh, right. But the oh, system works. You said a second ago that everything is fine, so you know. Actually, under concern level, it just says, "Why, God, why?" We should be celebrating these wonderful results. I think. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. Look at you. <laughs> shit, shit. Beep, shit, shit. <laughs> Perfect. So can I just say thank you again? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running. Absolutely. All we have time for. Abandon return to the forest. I will. Uh, enjoy that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Burns for just one of It's like a regular drink at Cineplex. There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be, that everything is just fine. Those fishbowl drinks are so weird. <laughs> My dad thought he was just ordering a regular Megan margarita. Wolf, uh, it was very funny when it came to his table. <laughs> Next, <laughs> head over to Robin Short. Was that at Scritchford the movie theater or a different time? This week's team membership it this was at the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Here in Scritchford with Gary Failsafe. I think it was before, uh, before old. And old, yeah. yeah. Jackhammer. And, and he had to leave the drink. Poet. Very funny. Both of you were drawn <laughs> at random from those who hold team membership cards. Giant comical drink comes. What the fuck prize? is this? How do you feel? <laughs> Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. And all nah. we had to do was <laughs> a quick formal. Hey, <laughs> pretty good. That sounds so con... We're all dying to know. <laughs> what have you won? That's right, Robin. I've won dinner Julius Salisbury at one of the capital. Swanky? <laughs> <laughs> and I've been invited to Peter Clement's house to help him dredge the gutter in. That's absolutely terrific. You must both be over the. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Well, I was battling against a difficult floater, probably one of the sixth formers, when the headmaster came and found well, me. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict. The arduous stanza. So you were both polishing turds? No, Hit I her. don't like to polish them. I like to keep them intact for my collection. Oh. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no one, clearly no one said anything. 
Potato, potato. So, Gary. Don't you flush that toilet. I want to see what you've done. I want to inspect those logs. in asking, I suppose. Would you like to hear No, thank you. Gary, when you signed up for team membership, was it in hopes of winning the lottery or were there other reasons? I like a slutter, of course, but no, the boss said I had to sign up. Thank you. <laughs> it's important to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, I have an un book of songs about children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no. Or an anthology of haikus on the death of innocence. I'd rather hear about Gary's turd collection. Really? I thought you might say that. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no signal. <laughs> It's in <laughs> delicious. <laughs> right, you are. He makes the best faces, too. Today on the show, there's no news. Just a man who came in multiple poos. <laughs> what? <laughs> who came in multiple <laughs> poos? You heard the man. Really Look at those tested. poos. <laughs> Would you encourage other people to enter for their chance to win? Uh, if it's colour you're looking for, take a gander at all blue eyes here. The national news lost its way. When it covered some crap on a tray. Some of these are quite rare. Maybe that was unfair. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> a lucky pair they are. <laughs> and finally in this segment, it's over to Patrick Bannon. <laughs> gone to the smelliest town in the country to see how the unprecedented weather is affecting the locals. Oh, Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. <laughs> 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 here live in Very nice. Just recently <laughs> voted the smelliest town in the country. And I have to say that, you know, in this... Heat, the, this guy's an unsung really hero. I mean, it's, 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 he's it's, always it's good. Something else. Yeah, he's funny. Barry Lardons, mate. You've lived here your whole life. To put up with the stink. Well, we're just all very proud he, of our He does team, the best, like, be lackadaisical uh, microphone holding you know for the like, guests. Son? Being the <laughs> smelliest town. No, I don't. Living in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> just for oh. laughing now, eh? Oh, what, not me, that's for sure. So, what happened, mate? <laughs> right, the good people from <laughs> and Swiss came in and saved. With their factory. You're talking, of course, about the newly built Flage factory. Yeah, they gave us this big. <laughs> they heard about the stench and paid them whatever they wanted to put it here. Does the stink not affect your life in every way, Barry? I mean, perhaps if you're filling in a tax return or completing the physical activity. going on my resume. It's strong at first, but you get used to it after several weeks of your first bout of sickness. The judges were very impressed. So, oh, what, what, what's the sickness? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. <laughs> now, folk are saying something about the production line. Now they dump carcasses directly into the water main, but I think it's probably a few valves on the high street. On the high street? Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? Well, the first one is asking stupid questions. Oh. Then folk experience a lot of do uh, do they? When is the last time you brushed your teeth, you stinking old tramp? <laughs> oh, next according is a period... Are we really going to let this continue? <laughs> Follow the <laughs> your delusions of grandeur. Oh, that's not really a problem, I've never sung in my life. Hello, it's sexy Patrick Brown. He's wearing sexy shorts now. Oh my God, look at me. I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous, why didn't you tell me? I'm a horsey. I should take my... No. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. Uh, oh, that, that will be the bout of undeserved self-confidence. <laughs> Love the band. Kill the band. <laughs> oh, man. What's the point? Big fan of and lav mics the... plus handheld mic. All that's left now are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. Now, <laughs> Dottie, was that you? Why are you made out of elbows? You know, I don't eat opinions. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Passed out. He's actually... <laughs> uh, once he wakes up, he'll be just fine. We'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he... <laughs> he <wakes> his bowels. <laughs> right. <laughs> All here in <laughs> A town that's really <laughs> making a stink. <laughs> I'm Barry Lardons. <laughs> Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> well, the naval blockade being put up around our coastline as we speak. When we come back, 
I'll be talking to three members of the general public who appear to be here purely for medical reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of c you've got something better to do. <laughs> of we'll what? be back <laughs> after these messages. This summer, your little ones deserve a treat. Bubblins! Ferris wheel. Yeah. Carousel. Horsey. Roller coaster. We've got none of that, but I can tell you what we do have. <laughs> danger cars. I like a danger nice. car. Colorful germ pit. Colorful germ this, pit. Yeah. Stay with us in our rustic accommodation. Accommodation. Singular. Expect. Water. Oh, pretty good. Glass. Hey, shoot, shoot. Don't worry about that. With our fantastic live entertainment, actual activities. That's a dirty ass dog. Uh, yeah, that's not my kind of dog. Also, no dog is. Perfect family getaway at Bumlands. Located just a few minutes drive from local attractions like Bum Sands and The Hole. <laughs> well, it's majestic, isn't it? Bumlets. We'll take the whole family. I want to go to the hole. We'll take them. <laughs> Welcome back to, <coughs> to the National Nightly News with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. Later, we'll be talking to the captain of the territory's first cat, <laughs> Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behaviours. Joining me is a woman who's been hiccuping for over nine months. Isn't that right, Miss Piercy? Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. I was Tell censoring her hiccups for a bit. All <laughs> well, it's all a bit of a <laughs> blur. <laughs> so I'm watching your show, and I remember seeing the news <laughs> election, and it, 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 it hasn't stopped since. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Also here is Frankie Steampipe, and um, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. <laughs> we're constantly overlooked in the workplace, we're whispered about on buses, and we're asked politely to leave children's birth parties. Sounds and like me. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bowels have comic timing. And finally, I'm joined by a man who answers every question honestly, even when it isn't aimed at him. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. <laughs> <laughs> According to my therapist. <laughs> well, in that case, um, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shush shot, which is hard. Hard at work, they've asked me to uh, to stop answering the phones. It's really affected my confidence. Well, I find it really fucking irritating. <laughs> Do people tend to believe? Oh, no. Actually, I've been surprised at how much support I've received. <laughs> and Frankie, um, why have you come here today? Because my wife left me, and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've started a group. It's not a bad move. With <coughs> ailments deemed broadly comical by society, it's called. Take us seriously. That's right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of <laughs> losers. It's just us so far. And how much success have you had? Well, we've seen <laughs> positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been a runaway success. <laughs> Not a single person come to our fun run, and all of our leaflets fell in the canal. <laughs> Well, Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shocking event. I've never had a run. fun run. What do you think? Oh, come down, Mr. Donaldson, that's absolute rubbish. What would it be like to have a pair of... Oh, could you? Um, um, I'm sorry, it's very hot. What was I thinking? A Gun. A puppet? No. Or a sad... <laughs> the I three most annoying sounds, hiccups, farts, and honesty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frankie Rose, tell us, how can the viewers get involved with your cause? Yes, we're holding a, a sponsored run in um, Capital yeah, the Park uh, next weekend. It's called the No Smiles 13 Miles. No, it's called the No Laugh Half. What did I say before the show? 
Wow, we may have to end that there, unfortunately. What a harmless bit of fun. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. We demand respect. <laughs> ah, yes, well, later... I'll be talking to Professor Pumpkin. A ginger tabby will walk I can't off there believe the they didn't show really Professor no, Pumpkin. Let go. Not you. Unhand him up. Oh, enough. That's enough. <laughs> enough. What are you doing? I like how I get a, unintentionally get? got a shot of just the gun on the hip beforehand. Get yeah. Before Made it a Chekhov situation. True. You in the broadcast center. Chekhov's butt. Who's little escape home? You listen to me. You cut if you the show the butt right in the first act, you have to use it in the third. Single person in this studio. Jeremy, think about <laughs> I am thinking about what I'm doing. I've been thinking about it for a long time. We all should be. Christ, it's so hot in here. <laughs> do you remember when we used to do the real news before it was all lottery winners and bloody cat football? I still do the real news, but there is some cat football. In hundreds of years, the enemy is at the gates, and I'm stuck here talking to these three idiots. I think my hiccups have stopped. You three, get out of my studio. Go on now, go before I change my mind. Jenny, lock the doors. Lock the doors. Yes, Jeremy. Now. Good. Yes. Now. Right then. You in the broadcast center. Alex, yes. You listen to me. You pay attention. Now, I'm sure you've already loaded up exactly what you're going to play in the commercial, but today is going to be a little bit different. Look to your right. Yes, really. Look to your right. There is a VHS tape, and I want you to load it into one of the machines, and when I say so, and not before, you play it. You've got about 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Now, all cameras, all of you, on me. When we come back, we're going to do the fucking news. And because every single thing that comes out of this studio is either one-sided or banal, we're going to show the other side for a bit. F balance. <laughs> and the good old days. Alex, play the tape. Now, I don't want to hurt any of you. <laughs> I wonder if some of my sensor beeps went through in the commercial or if that works. Mm. I think I played a few. Yeah, I think in the you second did. half. I don't know if they come through. I mean, you have the truth. You know the glance are lying to you. You know the elderly are not a burden. Beep. You know the rich were not all evil. Beep, beep. And you know the team membership card is an ID card, no matter what they try to tell you. But why should you trust us? Another faceless organization. A shadowy figure with a distorted voice. We've seen it so many times in the movies. Well, this is not a movie. <coughs> My name is Alan James. I used to try and shock people for a living. For entertainment. But now we live in a time where perhaps you need to be shocked. Perhaps we need to wake up. Advance are coming for our freedoms. They're coming for the fruits of our labors. They will take our wealth. They will euthanize our parents and smiling throughout. They will turn our children against us if we voice our concerns. But you don't have to accept it. A great many people already won't. You can resist. You can disrupt. Find I us. I guess I can't censor commercials. Us. Nope. Join us. It isn't hard. We're everywhere. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I played an ad instead. I mean, we just wouldn't see it, really. It's probably what would happen. This was unexpected. So what now, Jeremy? It was supposed to be your day off. God, please, like, don't do any more stupid things today. How long? <laughs> How long? <can> you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the National Mighty Need. <laughs> Joining me unexpectedly, for I very much imagine will be my last broadcast, are two new guests. Jenny works here at the National Nightly News and is someone I consider, well, a friend. And next to her is 
What's your name? Andy. Andy's a policeman. Hmm. Only, we don't call him that anymore. He's a community cohesion official. Officer. <laughs> it's, um, it's community cohesion officer, CCO. And how's that feel, Andy? Being rebranded? It's, uh... Good. <laughs> it's, it's not about confrontation anymore. You know, the, the force had its fair share of problems. I like sw the, uh, censoring the space in between their words. <laughs> it still has some. Offensive silence. I couldn't or wouldn't? But I don't know what you want me to say. Christ, you're f useless, aren't you? We'll come back to you later. <coughs> Jenny? I don't want to f in the news, Jeremy. That's perfectly understandable. Who'd want to do this? Jenny. Why did you join the National Nightly News? I always wanted to work in news. Yes, but why specifically this program? The National Nightly <laughs> It was the news everyone trusted. I figure if I try to censor the word news enough times, it'll sound, just sound like the N-word. Yeah. Some point. Is there You're doing it right. You'd rather discuss? Well, there is a great big Alan James sized elephant in the room you seem to be ignoring. What do you mean? I saw your face when that hood came down. You didn't know, did you? It's about the message, not the messenger. Like I said, you didn't know. No. I didn't know. The people I met were with. He wasn't there. <laughs> God, I didn't I'm know sorry. it was Alan James. I'm sorry. But seriously, Alan. James, you're flushing your life down the toilet for... God, I love you, Jeremy, but... He's a good speaker. He's popular in the country. <laughs> oh, he is popular there. Hmm. Don't forget Alan James. There is still something deeply wrong. And you know it, James. I'm rather popular there myself. <laughs> and you, you are home. You know it too. Meanwhile... I'm interviewing a guest who stinks of <laughs> Patrick is paddling about in <laughs> and Robin, Robin is literally interviewing someone who cannot <laughs> up. I mean, it's not sophisticated, but what a metaphor. We are <laughs> and the news isn't saying anything. We're not saying anything. Says who? Our <laughs> James. What are Now we're talking. Andy, your turn. Make yourself useful. How many people have you brought in for? Oh, well, there's other forms of identification that we will accept. For how long? We're just here to help. Then why do you need these? <laughs> Not really tight, but it's not at a gunpoint, is it, Andy? Let me demonstrate it for you. Let me... Help. <laughs> you eat these cards of my notes on it, and you'll probably digest a fact. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it, Andy? Knowing a fact? What? I don't understand. Do you want my help, yes, Andy? Yes, yes, whatever you say, Security yes. Security are here, Jeremy. Eat it. What? Eat the fucking news, <laughs> Andy, or I'll force <laughs> it down your throat. Jeremy, stop. <laughs> Go on. Really? Eat it. Eat it, you Jeremy, <laughs> stop. They will kill you. Please, don't make me watch that. Of course. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> this is what happens you when you listen now, to you? women. Nobody eats the news and you kill yourself. You can go now. You too, Jenny. <laughs> off over there. And any time. All cameras on me. This new regime of ours is so seductive. <laughs> oh, that. But before we all hand off, <laughs> should we ask to whom we're handing them over? Don't you want to know what's being done in your name? How many <laughs> last month? <laughs> Again, if you care. Shouldn't someone ask advance how they plan to deal with this blockade? I'm 
happier, why aren't we asking these questions instead of who is this? There's a cat backstage dressed as Show. He's even got the little gloves. Anyway, that's why I arranged for you to see that broadcast in the last break. Show the I didn't know fucking it was cat. Him, but I guess that just about sums it up. Hmm. That's the one. Also pointless. I was gonna quit. Take a holiday, try something else, out of the limelight. Maybe try having a relationship. I hear they're nice. Never tried them. I... I loved them. And now, well... Oh God, Jeremy, don't! I've tried my best to be honest with you, but this just isn't the news anymore. And I'm sorry. Ads. I've lost this fight. Cut to the ads. Uh-uh. Please, we can't show oh, you. Cut to the In ads. a minute. My One sec. Now. Do it now. We let this play out. If you can. Somehow. And I envy you. You can. Have a piece of <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, speak up. What the hell? Did you break it? You broke it. Guys, you broke it. Wow. There's wow. no audio on this one? Something got fucked. Pretty sure it had audio in the Yeah, this might be a goofed. There's been a goofing. Goofed version. I don't know if I can... Remember you said it was auto-censoring? That was part of the game? Oh, weird. Oh, it was beeping down the whole time. Oh, really. so huh. it doesn't beep; it just is quiet. I don't know. I don't know what. That's or about. it's or someone's lying. <clears throat> I'm sweating like Peter Clement in an off license here. Okay, we're working on it. What? You've got someone to hose down the sun, have you? Yes, <laughs> just strapped on their wax wings. Classical illusions. No substitute for air conditioning. You know, I genuinely they're not bad. In a better mood today. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun-toting handler. Who, Andy? I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe when people like disrupts. More like keep us in line. I hate guns. Give me the willies. Ten seconds, everybody. You really got over that so fear. Really actual real news tonight. Well, the world's on fire. <clears throat> that good enough for you? Going in five, four, three. Okay. Um... We've got food showing up very uh, quickly, so I think we're going to take a little break okay. to get our food sorted. All this. All right. So we will be right back.